forces are all around us. We call any kind of pull or push a force. A force can make things go. A force can stop things. How many times have you used forces today? Force can stretch, bend and turn things. Some forces are very large and some are very small. Do you have a lot of work to do today? Scientists do not use the word work as in your math or language homework. In science, work refers to the force that acts on an object to move it over a certain distance. You do work when you apply force to move an object by pushing it or pulling it. Raj is reading the book. He keeps it on the shelf when he is done with reading. He has done work on the book. If he keeps the book on the upper shelf, he has done more work on the book. He needs the same force or effort this time but has to apply for a longer distance. Look around. How many things do you see moving? What makes something move? Why does a boat drift downstream? Why do leaves fly around? What lifts a rocket off the ground? Why can you turn the page of this book? Objects move because of energy. We can say that energy is the ability to make things move or ability or capacity to do work. Energy is not like matter. Matter has mass and it occupies space. Energy has no mass and does not occupy any space. The concept of energy is very important in science and engineering. We think of energy in terms of petrol for car, LPG for cooking, electricity for light and food for ourselves. However, these ideas do not really define energy. They just convey us that energy is needed to perform these activities and these fuels provide us this energy. On this windmill, moving air does work on the blades of the windmills, causing the blades and the rotor of an electrical generator to rotate. Energy is transferred out of the windmill by means of electricity. Energy is involved in everything we do. We live in a vast sea of energy. Energy makes things work. Can you identify all forms of energy in this picture? Energy has many different forms. Some forms we can feel with our senses. Light we use in order to see. Sound which we hear. We can feel energy when we touch this warm glass of milk. Movement and electricity are other forms of energy we use every day. Sometimes, Energy is stored inside objects like this stretched rubber band or leaf falling from the tree. We say that these things have potential energy before they move. It can be stored in petrol, coal, food as chemical energy. Different kinds of foods contain different amounts of energy. But how energy gets into the food in first place? Energy in this milk came from cows. Cow gets energy by eating grass. A plant which has lots of minerals. Plants take minerals from the soil. Plants do not eat food to get their energy. They are made to collect light energy from the sun and store it as chemical energy inside themselves. This process of producing energy is called photosynthesis. Summary we discussed concepts like work and energy. Objects move because of energy. We can say that energy is the ability to make things move or ability or capacity to do work. You do work when you apply force to move an object by pushing it or pulling it.